Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. So, hello, good evening, Katia. Hello, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? Great. I'm doing well, thanks. And how was your day? Very well. Excellent. It's nice to meet you, Katia. Nice to meet you too, teacher. Thank you. Let me see, Evis Mendes. Good evening. Hello, Evis. Okay, Marta Mejiva. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Thanks. And you? Great. I'm good. Thanks. And how was your day? How was your day? How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? How was your day? It's good. I go, I went uh, interview. Okay. Of work. A job interview. Yeah. All right. How did it go? Was it well? Was it good? Well. All right. That's very nice. I'm glad to hear it. It's nice to meet you, Martha. Thank you. Let me see. Roxana, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Uh, um, it's okay. Uh, with new news, news, paper, news. <laughs> with some news? With, with new news. Yes. Good news. Oh, nice. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad to hear that you got some good news. And uh, and how was your day? Was it fine? Fine, fine. Okay. Yes. yes. All right, that's nice. What, what, what is your name, teacher? My name is Liliana. Liliana. Yes. Okay, nice, nice to meet you, Liliana. Thanks, it's nice to meet you too. Thank you. Let me see Marco Landaverde. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good. Thanks. How was your day? It was um, kind of. I'm tired right now. Oh, okay. It was busy, I guess. Yeah. All right. So I'm glad that you're here in the English class. And it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks. Melvin Salazar, good evening. Hello, good evening. How's everything, Melvin? Hello. Hi, how's everything? Hello. Can you hear me? Melvin, can you hear me? Un poco. Oh, a little. Problema la señal. Okay. Uh, okay, so how was your day? How are you? I was uh, so tired because I I was a lot of things in my my job. Okay, you had a lot to do. All right, Melvin, it's nice to meet you. Yes. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Let me see, Kenya Rivas. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? How are you, Kenny? Oh, 
Kenya, can you hear me? Hola. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm fine. Okay, great. And how was your day? Uh, it was good. It was good? All right, excellent. And uh, it's nice to meet you, Kenya. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay, let me see who, who's missing. Roberto Carlos, good evening. Good, good evening, teacher. How are you, Roberto? I'm fine. Great. How was your day? Um, I I um, very mucho trabajo. <laughs> it was busy. Will it work? Yes. Yes. I see. Yes. Okay. All right. So it's nice to meet you, Roberto. Thanks. Let me see. Jasmine Munoz. Good evening. Do you How hear me? You? Yes, I can hear you. How are you today? Thanks. I'm fine. Fine. Very many things to do in the morning okay. but now i'm well very well all right nice did you have to work today something like that <laughs> oh okay all right fine you had a busy morning then in the morning mm -hmm. okay excellent it's nice to meet you jasmine nice to meet you too thank you let me see maria jose moran good evening Good evening, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, thank you. And how are you? Fine, thank you. Great, and how was your day? Yes, very good. All right, I'm glad to hear that. Reina Acosta. Hello teacher, good evening. Good evening, how's everything? Uh, repeat please. <laughs> How is everything? How are you? I'm fine. Okay, great. And how was your day? Um, um, I'll, um, a little heavy. So it was hard? Okay. All right. Did you have to work today? Um, no lo entendí eso, teacher. Did you have to work? ¿Le tocó trabajar? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. It's nice to meet you, Reina. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. And let me see who's missing. Roxana Amaya. Have I say hi to you? Hello, Roxana. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. I um, I was today. Oh, it was great. It was great? All right, yeah. that's nice. I'm glad to hear it. And it's nice to meet you, Roxana. So? It's a pleasure to meet you. Let me see Alejandro Rivera. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. And you? Great. I'm good. Thanks. And how was your day? Uh, a tired day, but a good day. Okay. So I'm happy to hear that you had a good one. Let me see. Oh, I'm happy to hear that you had a good one. Oh. Mm. Let me see, Madeline Santos. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Great, I'm pretty well, thanks. How was your day? Well, very well. Okay. What a good day. 
excellent. I'm glad to hear that. And it's very nice to meet you, Madeline. Hi, nice to meet you too. I'm Thank really you. happy to be here with you. Great, thanks. Okay, so I think I have said hi to the most of you. Let's start with our class now. Are you ready? Yes or no? Yes, yes, I'm ready. Okay, very well. So let me just get my presentation over here. Just give me a second. There we go. So welcome everybody to the English online course. This is the pre-intermediate one module. And first of all, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, my name is Liliana Mendoza Axume and I'll be your facilitator for the next four weeks. Um, well, what can I tell you? I'm from Santa Ana. I have been teaching for around five years and I have been teaching in these courses for a couple of months. I really like them. They are very, very nice. So I love working with this kind of course and I'm here to help you with anything you need. So please feel free to let me, to let me know uh, whenever you need something, if you need me to explain something over and over, I'll do it. So just let me know when, whenever you need some help from my behalf. And um, let me tell you about the class requirements. And this is something you already know, but yes, let me just remind you about a couple of things. So we have to register in each of the sessions using our full names. Recordemos que siempre debemos ingresar a las sesiones utilizando nuestro nombre completo. And that is because um, we must avoid confusions, right? Para evitarnos algunas confusiones, a veces hay nombres que coinciden, entonces lo mejor es que tengamos nuestro nombre completo para estar debidamente registrados en las sesiones. Then about the use of the microphone and video camera. I'd like to ask you to keep your video cameras on so we keep on having a better communication, you know, more interaction and all of that. It will be better if you keep your cameras on. Igual les pido que mantengamos la cámara encendida en la medida de lo posible para que la interacción sea mucho mejor, ¿verdad? Así nos estamos viendo, estamos compartiendo de una forma un poquito más interactiva. And about the use of the microphone, remember that you have to keep your microphone off unless you are participating. If you have any doubts, just feel free to open your microphone or turn it on and ask. It, it, there's no problem with that. But please, if you are not participating, keep your microphone off because of the background sound and to avoid you know, um, all of that uh, interruption, right? Um, igual los micrófonos, les pido que los mantengamos en silencio, que los mantengamos apagados mientras no estemos participando. Habrán momentos donde los vamos a utilizar, entonces sin ningún problema, usted enciende su micrófono, repite, participa y de igual forma no hay problema si de pronto yo estoy explicando algo, usted necesita preguntar, consultar algo pues simplemente enciende su micrófono y me preguntan no hay problema con eso Solo les pido que mantengamos el micrófono apagado mientras no se esté utilizando para evitarnos el ruido de, de feedback, para que nos podamos entender bien, ¿verdad? Sí. En, tell me. En, en mi caso, en, en algunas ocasiones no voy a poder tener la cámara encendida por la interferencia. Ok. Porque hay otras personas, pero, pero voy a estar acá y cuando lo solicito, pues la voy a, la voy a encender. Very well. Thanks for telling me. Yeah. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the registration at the English Corporativo platform. Have you all registered in the platform? Quiero saber si ya se registraron todos en la plataforma. ¿Cómo vamos con eso? Teacher. Teacher. Sí. Uh -huh. 
Yes, teacher. Yes. Oh, okay. Everything's fine. Do we have yo any tengo, questions? Yo tengo problemas con registrarme. Uh, sorry, who's that? Hello. Uh, Melvin. Yes. Okay, uh, you're uh, having trouble. Did you get any help from the the support, uh, the technical support people? Sí, me comuniqué con Jackson, pero me dijo porque es como que había cambiado la contraseña. Yo cuando me registré, entonces okay. yo le pongo, yo pongo la que la que él me dijo que, que es la, la que yo puse, uh -huh. la pongo y no me no me registra. Pongo y uh -huh. cuando me registré puse también la, la de inglés corporativo, tampoco me la agarraba. Entonces ninguna me agarra. Eh, uh -huh. Le doy cambiar contraseña, ingreso la la como me lo pide, pero igual cuando intento ingresar no, me dice que no puedo iniciar sesión. Oh, okay, so maybe you can ask Jason tomorrow to see what we can do. And I'll remind him as well. Yo le voy a recordar también a Jason y tal vez le puede, le puede consultar usted nuevamente para que él lo ayude con esa parte. Excelente. Um, okay, thank you, Melvin. Alejandro Rivera, I see your hand up. Este, yo tuve un problema similar eh, en, el, en el módulo anterior y eh, a mí lo que más, a mí la forma en que me solucionaron fue que se me bloqueó la cuenta. Entonces tuve que esperar un par de días y me la habilitaron ya con la contraseña eh, que dan propiamente, ¿verdad? Porque, bueno, realmente yo no había copiado la contraseña, pero me la habilitaron otra vez y pero tuve que esperar un par de días. Así que posiblemente hagan lo mismo con él. Yes, maybe. Thanks for sharing, Alejandro. Um, okay. Any other questions? Any other doubts about the platform? No more? Okay. So let's continue by saying that we have to do our best to complete the lessons in the platform. Remember that we are graded on the on the work or based on the work that we do in the platform. So it's really essential that you keep on completing the exercises and taking all the lessons there. And um, remember, it depends on the work in the platform, if you approve the course or not. So it's really important to keep on working there. And also about the class videos, let me remind you that each of the classes, each of the sessions, is recorded and the next day it is published on YouTube. So we have our own list. Um, I'm going to share the link with you tomorrow. So in case you need to check any part of the class or if you miss a class and then you have to, to check it in order to, to study the topic that we, that we have covered the, the previous night. Um, you can just access the videos and watch them on YouTube, right? Recordemos que los videos de las clases están siempre en YouTube al día siguiente. Entonces, si necesita de pronto revisar alguna parte de la clase o si, o si necesita, um, es igual se pierde alguna clase y luego necesita revisar el contenido que hemos cubierto la noche anterior, pues van a estar por ahí los videos. Ya tienen ustedes la... Eh, perdón, el link de la lista de reproducción, sin embargo yo mañana se los voy a compartir nuevamente en el grupo de WhatsApp para que puedan tenerlo por cualquier cosa que, les, que se les ofrezca. And let me tell you a little bit about the platform. Just give me a second. Um, is there anybody who's new to this course? Is any of you new to this course or you had been here before? No sé si nuevo. You're new, okay. Okay, fine. So let me tell you okay. about the platform. It is divided in five different sections and we're going to cover units, I mean, sections one, two, and three in the first two weeks. Las secciones 1, 2 y 3 las vamos a cubrir en las primeras dos semanas. And then in the third week, we work on section number 4. 
En la tercera semana estaríamos trabajando en la sección número 4. And then uh, we are going to work on section number 5 in the fourth week. En la cuarta semana estaríamos desarrollando la sección número 5. Así que es importante que vayamos eh, llevando este avance en dentro de la plataforma. Igual recordemos que cada uno avanza según su tiempo, según su, su ritmo, pero no debemos quedarnos eh, atrás, ¿verdad? Debemos de ir siempre avanzando para que no se nos vaya a dar el caso que al final, ya en la última semana tenemos todo el trabajo acumulado, pues ya nos va a costar mucho, ¿verdad? Así que eh, sí les pido que tengamos en cuenta este avance mínimo que se nos pide, que es eh, las primeras dos semanas, completar hasta la sección número 3. En la, en la tercera semana estaríamos completando sección 4 y en la cuarta semana sección 5. Eh, also remember that we have a midterm test, a midterm exam at the, at the end of the section number 3. También recordar que tenemos un examen de midterm al final de la sección número 3, lo cual quiere decir que el examen está incluido dentro de las primeras dos semanas, que sería a la mitad del curso, ¿verdad? Que estaríamos completando secciones 1, 2 y 3 y también el examen. Debemos tomarlo allá por el jueves o viernes de la segunda semana. So that will be next week que sería la próxima semana. También recordar que no hay ningún problema si en dado caso usted tiene tiempo esta semana para avanzar e incluso puede terminar todo el, el, el contenido del curso, el contenido de la plataforma. That would be great. There's no problem with that. So keep on going, keep on working in the platform and practicing a lot. Bueno, recuerde que puede completar tanto como pueda, como usted tenga tiempo, ahí va completando. Si en esta semana logra terminar o algo, pues no hay ningún problema. Usted avanza según su ritmo. And then uh, for the new ones, let me tell you a little bit about the content that we find in the platform. Okay, so it starts with our lesson objective. Where can encontramos el objetivo de la lección? Then we have some different videos. Some of them are conversations, such as this one. Uh, we watch the video, we listen to the conversation, we can practice it. And then at the end of the video, we get a task for a discussion for participating in a discussion forum. Here, as you can see, some people have already participated. So you just listen to what you have to do and then you write your answer and you participate in the forum. Tenemos algunos foros de discusión. Al final de cada video les va indicando lo que deben hacer. Usted escribe y prepara su participación y es todo lo que debe hacer. Then we also have, okay, here we have a second lesson objective. Then we have another video which explains statements with be and possessive adjectives. Um, so we have some videos with conversations and some others with some explanation of the different topics. Tenemos videos de conversaciones y otros videos que son explicaciones de algunos temas. Y de igual forma, eh, they have discussion forums. De igual forma, tienen los foros de discusión. Ahí al final del video le da indicaciones. Usted participa en that will be it. And let's see, another important thing to keep into account is the knowledge checks. Remember that the knowledge checks are the exercises that we have to develop. And those are the ones that have the, the most of the percentage in our appro approval grade. So we must complete all the, the knowledge checks in order to pass our course. Recordemos que los knowledge checks son los, los ejercicios de más peso dentro de la, del puntaje de la plataforma, así que debemos de desarrollarlo siempre. Igual, eh, cada una de las partes de la plataforma, incluyendo los videos y todo lo demás, lleva cierta ponderación, pero estas serían las partes más importantes, ¿verdad? Que no debemos de obviar. Y tenemos distintos tipos de ejercicio. Hay algunos de 
only select an option. In some others, you have to type or to write something. And be careful when writing because the platform, hey, the platform is very sensitive to the to the spaces, the the cases, the I mean the upper cases, and uh, the punctuation. So be careful with those details. Hay que tener cuidado con los detalles de los espacios cuando nos toque, principalmente cuando nos toca escribir en alguno de los ejercicios. No dejar espacios antes ni después de las de las palabras que hemos escrito. Solamente el espacio reglamentario en medio de cada una de las palabras, ¿verdad? Y de igual forma hay que tener cuidado con las mayúsculas y minúsculas y con la puntuación. Por ejemplo, eh, a veces ponemos puntitos al final de cada, de cada palabra. Eh, pues eso no puede estar pasando acá a menos que estemos hablando de oraciones completas. Porque de otra forma la plataforma les tomaría la respuesta como incorrecta. So be careful with those details, please. Do we have any questions so far? No questions? No, no, no questions. No questions. Good. All right, so let me get back to the presentation. So we talk about our topic. Okay, so today's lesson objective is by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, its, our, and their in order to introduce their names and to express possession. So let's start with a short reading. Let me read this for you. And then I'm asking for some volunteers to read it. We have, hello, my name is Jack and this is my family. I have a sister, her name is Sarah. I have two brothers, their names are Gabe and Ryan. My parents are called Ted and Sandra. We live together in our big house, it's very nice. Also, I have four grandparents. My dad's dad is called George and he's married with Granny Lucy. My mom's parents are Philip and Susan. I love my grandparents. So that's how it goes. Do I have any volunteers to read the, the paragraph? Me, teacher. Okay, Reina, go ahead. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jack and this is my family. I have a sister. Her name is Sarah. I have two brothers. Their names are Gab and Ryan. My parents are called Ted and Sandra. We live together in our big house. It's very nice. Also, I had four grandfather. My dad, that is called George, and he's married with Granny Lucy. My mom's parents are Phyllis and Susan. I love my grandparents. Okay, excellent, Reina. Thanks for reading. Do I have any other volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, Melvin, go ahead. Okay. Hello, my name is Jack, and this is my family. I have a sister. Her name is Sarah. I have two brothers. Their names are Gabe and Ryan. Mm -hmm. My parents are called Ted and Sandra. We live together in our big house. It's very nice. Also, I have a four grandparents. My dad's dad is called George and he's married with Granny Lucy. My mom's parents are Philip and Susan. I love my grandparents. Okay, excellent, Melvin. Thanks for reading. Do I have any other person who wants to read? Me, me. Okay, Roxana, go ahead. Hello, my name is Jack, and this is my family. I have a sister. Her name is Sarah. I have two brothers. Their names are Gabe and Ryan. My parents are called Ted and Sandra. We live together in our big house. It's very nice. Also, 
I have four grandparents. My dad's dad is called George. And he's married with a Granny Lucy. My mom's parents are Phillips and Susan. I love I love my grandparents. Okay, very well, Roxana. Thanks. And I also heard Marta. Did you want to read? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Hello. Hello, my name is Jack. This is my family. I have a sister. Her name is Sarah. I have two brothers. Their names are Gabe and Ryan. My parents are called Ted and Sandra. We live together in our big house. It's very nice. Also, I have four grandparents. My dad, dad is called George and he's married with Granny Lucy. My mom's parents are Philip and Susan. I love my grandparents. Okay, very well. Thanks for reading. Now, everybody, please repeat family. 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 Care. Care. Brothers. 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 There. There. Names. 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 Parents. 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 Cold. 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 Together. 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 Grandparents. 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 Married. 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 Mary, Mary, Granny, Granny, Granny. Okay, very well. Now, here in the reading, we have some different possessive adjectives. Can you identify them? Sure. Uh, Hi. What, uh, what definition, Granny? Oh, granny is a grandmother. It's ah. like, um, when we say in Spanish, like abue or something like that, like, ah, ah, ah. yeah, thank you. Okay. All right, so let's identify the possessive adjectives that we have here in the text. What can you tell me? We had my, what else? It's um, here. Here. here, we have here. here Okay, what else? They, their, their, their names. Uh -huh. my. my. We have mine again. Uh -huh. our, our big house. Our. Our. our big house. Where is it here? Any other? My. my okay, we got my in many different sentences, right? Okay, so that is what we are going to study now. We're going to review the possessive adjectives that I know that you have already studied. And we're going to review them and then we're going to do some practice. So let's move on. So here we have the possessive adjectives um, are used to express possession as, as its name says, right? Then some examples on how to use possessive adjectives. This is my sister, my sister. His pillow is soft, his, his. We use here his for a man or a boy, his pillow is soft. Can somebody help me to read the next one, please? Me. Thank you, Amy. The is her phone number. Thanks. Next one, can somebody read it? Can you read the next example, please? Your laptop is red. Okay, your laptop is black. Good. Next one. Uh oh, his his daughter is my friend. For example. All right. Very well. 
Okay, so we have a next example. Our bird is noisy. Then we have their house is beautiful. Can somebody help me to read this one, please? Can somebody that read? Is or a car. Thank you. Next one. Its color is brown. Very good. Next example. They are my co-workers. Okay. And then we have our class is interesting. Next one. Can somebody read it, please? Can share one, one example. Uh, use it. Um, it. Yes. Here it's we have color. one. Its color is brown. For example, if we are referring to a dog, we could say its color is brown. So it will be oh. the color of the dog, right? Or if we're referring to what? To the cell phone, for example, its oh. color is white. Its color. So it belongs to the cell phone, right? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Next example says your notebook is on the chair. Then we have my classmates are nice. Her brother is handsome. Its name is Rocky. Their pool is very big. And those are some examples on how to use possessive adjectives. We have my sister, his pillow, her phone number, your laptop, our bird, their house, our car, its color, and my coworkers. We say our class, your notebook, my classmates, her brother, its name, and their pool. Now let's remember that we have different possessive adjectives for the different pronouns. Let me write the, the pronouns with the I, you, he, he, it, we, you, and they. And then we have the corresponding possessive adjectives that you already know, right? For I, we have. What is the my, 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 what is the one for you? Your, 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 or he? your, his, his, is that his, his, or she, we say, her, her, her. And it, it's, 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 we, our, we got our, our, you. our. They, there. You, no, you, you. You, your, and they, there. As you mentioned. There. 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 Okay, so we got he. I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, you, your, and they, there. Repeat, please. My. 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 Your. My. Your. Your. His. 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 Hair. 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 It's. 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 Our. 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 Your. 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 Their. 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 Okay, now let's make some examples using the possessive adjectives. Can you provide me an example using my? This is my white blouse. Mm -hmm. This is my white blouse. Yes. Okay. Another one you see in your? No, no, no. We say you see in your. Her name is Ruben. Your name is Ruben. Okay. Next one using his. What can we say? His, his car his, is blue. His car is blue. Okay. 
using her? Her, her sister is my friend. Her sister is my friend. Very well. Now one using it's. Any ideas? So think about your pet, for example. What can you tell me about your pet? Any ideas? Its computer is mm, new. Okay, its computer is new, fine. It all depends on who's the owner of the computer, right? Okay, now let's use our. Our house is big. Our house is big. Okay, then we have your again. Your. What can we say? Your profession is very interest, interesting. 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 Okay, very well. Your profession is very interesting. And now let's use there in a sentence. What can we say? There. They Good. They're what? They are good. Um, in that case, we must use the verb be, but this one is the possessive. So they, try to make it. Their shoes are beautiful. Their shoes are beautiful. Okay, very well. So we got my white blouse your name, his car, her sister, its computer, our house, your profession, and their shoes. Very well. Now that we have reviewed everything related to the possessive adjectives, we must develop some practice. So here I have three exercises for you to develop, for you to complete. In the exercise number one, you are going to write the possessive adjective that corresponds to each subject in parentheses. For example, number one, where is, we got the subject I in book. So what is the corresponding possessive adjective? My. 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 Exactly. We say, where is my book? And here we have we, our, and so on. Then in exercise two, we are going to read and complete the sentences with the correct possessive adjective. For example, number one, that is my sister's husband. That is? Her. Her. Her, her husband. We refer to your sister, right? My sister, her husband. Yes. Okay, then in exercise three, you have to write the corresponding possessive adjective. And we got, for example, two students didn't do. What is the there. adjective? There. Exactly, it refers to the two students. Two students didn't do their mathematics homework. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. Let me send you to the breakout rooms so you get a chance to work with your classmates. And I am going to send you the practice to the WhatsApp group, okay? Is that fine? Okay. All right, very well. Let me open the rooms right now so you get some time to work.
sería my, ¿verdad? My, sí. What is grand teacher? Sería... Or... Hey, sería. No, ¿verdad? We is our... What is we teacher? En la dos. En la dos es or. Our. Our. He is no, our no. teacher. Es cierto, uh, tenemos una cosa así. He goes to serve with his brother. He sería. Her. She goes to school with her. Her brother. Her brother. Say her. If I were in a car, what could it be? Sí. La cuatro de Father La cuatro es Hit, ¿verdad? Él, ¿verdad? Tayer. Tay es ellos. Tayer. 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 La. Fai Mai, ¿verdad? Your. Your. Your laptop is very expensive. En six sería. Her, her, yes. her favorite hobby is seven. seven. My, my, you. Sí, sí, está bien. Sí, igual yo. Okay. Si nos equivocamos, nos dicen. Por... Sí. <laughs> A ver, eh, ejercicio número dos, número uno sería um, my sister, sería her, ¿verdad? Her, sí. 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 Creo que está hablando del esposo del hermano. El hermano. Uh, this is T-shirt. T-shirt. This is... Oh, It's... Uh. Sí, ¿verdad? Porque es una cosa. Como que está hablando de las cosas. Sí, it's. Sí, yo creo que sí. It's. En ese no sería his. Yo creo oh. que his. Pero está hablando del amigo, de la hermana. De, de, de su amigo. De ella. Yo creo que es her. Ah, ya dudé. <laughs> sí, yo también no sé si es. What exercise are you in? Uh, exercise two, number three. Number three. Okay, let me check. So it says that is Frank's sister. That mm -hmm. is? Okay, so we're referring to the sister of Frank. Frank's sister. So that will be? Her. Her. His. Are you sure? His. 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 Yes, his. His. his sister. Uh, la hermana de Frank. Exactly. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay. He's Martha's mm. brother. It's. It's. Que está hablando de la almohada. Mm. Five. Mm, number five. <laughs> that is all. Um, eh, cuatro que le pusieron. It's. It's. Um, but you have to think about who's the owner of the pillow. Mm. Ahí hay que, hay que evaluar quién es el el dueño o la dueña de, de la pila es here uh -huh. entonces brothers pila yes. it would be his 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 sí de él verdad uh -huh. Uh -huh. qué es neighbor se me ha olvidado 
neighbor, vecinos. Ah, oh, vecinos. Thank you, teacher. Okay. So, there. Yo creo que sí, Dale. Pero. Mm. Sí, porque creo que está hablando de las plantas del vecino. O. Pero. Uh -huh. Oh, de o de nuestras sea, plantas. Ajá, de... No, pero... No. De sus, de, de sus Our plantas. Our neighbor's plants. Our neighbor's plants. Las plantas, Las plantas de los vecinos, de nuestros vecinos. Entonces... Las plantas de ellos. De ellos. Yes, that's correct. Oh, oh. Yeah. Um, yes, it's right. Our neighbor's plants. Las okay. plantas de nuestros vecinos. So it would be las plantas de ellos. De ellos. Okay. Sus plantas. Uh -huh. Y no sería it. Me confundo, me confundo ahí. Porque está hablando de plantas. Because of the plant. No, because the owners are the neighbors. No, porque como ahí depende del dueño, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí los dueños mm. son las personas, los okay. vecinos. En cambio, oh. podríamos utilizar its, por ejemplo, si estamos hablando de la planta eh, de sus hojas, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Its leaves are long. Its que sería de la are... planta, ¿verdad? Ajá, sus hojas ah, okay. de la planta, right? Hoy mm -hmm. oh, sí, ya he dicho gracias. Okay. Six. No, creo que hay que anotarlo. En todo caso. Ah, ok. No hay que enviar. Número uno. Número dos. That is Frankie. Frank sister. That is. Mm. No, yo creería que es, es his. Es his porque está en masculino. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces, tres his, cuatro sería, this is Marta's brother's hello, this is, de nuevo his. Sería her, porque Marta es un nombre femenino. Pero aquí dice, pero aquí dice, pero ahí dice, esa es. Ah, sí, tiene razón, sería en masculino, sería en masculino. Porque está hablando de la almohada de, del hermano de ella. Ajá, por eso decía. Ajá. Sí, ajá, sería en masculino. La número cinco. Permítame. La número cinco. That is our neighbor's plant. That is. Me imagino que debe ser there. De ellos. Porque me están hablando de la planta de sus vecinos. No sé si les parece o no. You're right, Marco. That's how it goes.
Y Ur sería Ur, Ajá. son las claro. plantas de ellos, de los vecinos. De ellos. Pues, pues serían de, 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 Oh. Our, our, uh, this is an our house. Ajá, no es no, ajá, nuestra. Uh -huh. Nuestra. Use. Ok. This is an our house. Ok. Mm. Now, look at Number seven. Lourdes. Following. Hello, Lourdes. End of here. Siguiente. Okay. Okay. Sigo entonces. Uh, yo. Okay, my mother. turn. My turn. Ah. <laughs> ah okay. Okay. You live on this street. You live on this street. This is. Your street, your street. Yes. Okay. yes. Now, Mark. David and his brother live on that street. That is. Their street. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. La calle. Sí. This can belong to my aunt Selma. This is um, her comb. Yes. This is her comb. Now, Lord. It's not here. I don't know where this is gotten. Maybe she had trouble with the internet or something. Okay, my turn. Those glasses belong to my brother's friend. Hi, Marisa. Hi, welcome back. Hi. Hi. Okay, uh, how was the practice? Did you have time? Did you have enough time to finish or not? No. You no. didn't finish. Okay, only, that's fine. Only two practice. Finish. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry about it. I know time was short. So don't worry. We are going to get some time to work on exercise three tomorrow. And we are checking exercise one and two tomorrow as well. So it was really nice to meet you. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Thank you. Good night. Y es una cura de dinosaurio.